Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the new order. It's time to infiltrate the prison and see if we can find the resistance. I just had a thought. If you do a sprint slide, this is very unlikely, but if you do a sprint slide, can you kick somebody's feet out from under them and they fall? This is going to totally ruin my stealth. Nope. Well, now I know. I wonder how much noise it makes to break these crates. Will I hear this? person I was watching play through this had a lot of trouble here because you don't have a lot of equipment and there's a lot of things that can kill you including those oh, including those laser turrets over there which almost insta kill you Too much damage. Not bad, not bad. I thought that'd go worse. Oh. Yeah, they know I'm here. Don't they? Oh, I think they just. No, they can totally get here. They can just go through there. Funny. It's a little bit ridiculous if you think about it, but from a sort of keeping things fresh, it makes sense. Um, the fact that these guards don't have any real weapons on them. They just have these. You, you can pick up these as armor? How does that make any sense? These batons. How's that armor? Like, where are you putting them? Uh, but anyway, yeah. Like, why would they only have batons? They're fucking, they're fucking Nazis. What? They would be totally kitted out with all sorts of weapons. Like, guns, I mean. So, it's kind of ridiculous that they don't have those things, but in terms of, like, the pace and keeping things fresh, it makes sense, because they're trying to make this a sort of stealthy section where you don't just go in guns blazing, and you've lost a lot of your power that you had before, kind of disempowering you to keep things uh, 
keep things a little bit fresh, keep you on your toes. So it makes sense from that perspective. Tube over there I can go in, I think. Ooh. Oh, I can't go back out? Alright then. Sorry, doggy. <laughs> Did that kill them? Damn, Blaskowitz can really throw a punch, I guess you could call that. Are they sleeping? Oh my god! You're dead. <laughs> I've never seen that take down before. Looks like Darth Vader's helmet almost. You can read that if you'd like. Yeah, there's all these numbers all over the place, by the way. There's probably ones that have showed up before this that I just didn't look at. But I remember in the playthrough that I watched, you see things like this all over the place. They must mean something, but I have no idea what. Well, that's a nice detail. Bucket to hold the drips. Ooh. Key for something. Damn to find out what. Probably needed that though. This must be the commander. Yes. That'd be the laziest bunch of guards the world has ever seen. Ah, oh, yeah. This doesn't make any sense at all. Like, is everybody issued a standard issue laser gun? Because it seems like uh, medical supplies like this, you'd want somebody to be able to access them quickly in an emergency. And it's not the sort of thing people generally steal, so why would you put it behind something like this? Even if everyone did have laser cutters, it's just ridiculous. Oh, that's what the key's for. I wonder if that thing can run me over.
remember the person I watched had a lot of trouble getting past this thing. <laughs> it took him like a half a dozen tries. Uh, let's see how we do. I think if it gets you, it's just like instant death. Or damn near it, at least. I've got a pretty good amount of health and armor, though, so maybe I could take a hit or two. The other guard's looking this way, I can't go in there. This one's gotta come out at some point, right? Okay, they're not moving, I'm just gonna go in. It's actually not too hard to not take any damage from them, just kind of bait them. Go in, hit them once or twice, get out. Hello, old friend. Gosh, oh my. I thought I was a goner. And here you are, back from the dead, to save us all. Imagine that. Oh, what have you been up to, Captain Blaskowitz? Quit shooting, stabbing, strangling Nazis. Ready to set things straight, Wyatt. Fantastic. Well, oh, let's get out of here, shall we? Hey! You close that door! <laughs> <laughs> So this is where Fergus would be if you had, uh, had General Death's Head dissect Wyatt. All right, let's get to work. God, look at how just absent and disconnected Blazkowicz is. Just, like, no reaction from them seeing one of the resistance fighters just shot in the head and blood splattered on their face. Yes! Side for sore eyes. <laughs> A shit ton of armor and ammo, oh my god. 
Okay, what do we got? Shotgun and pistols. Oh, hold on. I need uh, pistol kills from behind cover. I'm not actually trying to be silent, I just wanted to shoot single rounds instead of bursts. interesting how why it's changed over the years because I remember uh, assuming I'm not mixing them up with somebody else I remember before the uh, being in the asylum I think why it was kind of uh, not sure what the word would be but they weren't very confident like they were they were scared shitless weren't they the person that said like uh, like my eyes are watering and I feel like throwing up or something like that and, and then Blazkowicz was like okay just follow after me just like breathe it's just it's adrenaline, it's nerves. I'm pretty sure that was that was Wyatt. And now they seem very confident. Wait, wait! Oh Jesus! There's a Ponzer hunt out there! Give it one like heck! I think we can make it! Follow me! Come this way, Captain! I think we can pull this off if we work together. I probably just meant to slide under that door. Would have been a lot cooler. I open the gate. You got it. Out there. More pistol kills if I can. Oh. Take the lead, Captain. I'll be right behind you. Take out those turrets. Stay sharp, Cap. We can make it. They just keep coming. Shoot. We're doing it. We're getting out of here. Nice tactical roll. More coming? Or do I just go in there? I saw like the door open or something? Oh shit. Oh, I think we have our first heavy. Person with a lot of armor.
Push it. Oh, ooh. I don't know how much health I had, but I think they hit me like point blank with a shotgun, so <laughs> it probably does a lot of damage. I was trying to switch to my uh, dual wield assault rifles. Okay, let's be more careful with the heavy this time. God, they still took out a lot of my health, though. Yep, I'll be there soon. I've been in here, right? Yeah. Let's go through it again, though. Some more armor to pick up. Nah, eh, whatever. That's enough. Lay down suppressive fire objective completed. Uh, sure. Yep. I was definitely suppressing their shots. No, let's do that cooler. Yeah. Let's get more handgun shots from cover. I do still need that perk, right? Kills from cover using handgun. Oh, I just need one more. Okay, that's easy enough. There we go. That gives me more... Yeah, handgun magazine size increase, but it also unlocks the ability to increase the shotgun's magazine size. Indirect kills using shotgun shrapnel mode. Uh, I don't think I have a shrapnel mode yet, do I? No, I don't. Oh, oh, this is an entirely new shotgun. I think it's a semi-automatic one. It holds 20 shots. Also, I can dual wield them, which must do incredible damage up close. Try out the double shotgun, shall we? Oh shit. Damn, they're pretty far back there. I can't really get him with a shotgun. Carnage in this hallway. Just peeking out. Come on. They're shy. Ah. Oh, 
Okay, God, I want to run up to them and shoot them with a shotgun, but I'm scared because they have a shotgun too. They're going to just blow me apart in like two shots. I'm pretty sure that's just a bad idea. I think it just fully looped around yeah okay Oh right, I get to actually drive. Jim, drive up the stairs! Press the big window! Come on! That didn't last long. Oh, crafty. Loyal. Tenacious. <laughs> Got it! Got it! Oh. I love the fact that they actually created Dead end what now? They actually created the ability to drive a car like you know they created a, a character controller for a car just so you could drive it for about 5 seconds and I'm pretty sure that's the only time it shows up in the entire game. Oh. I can't believe you made it out of there. Do any of you know how to hotwire a car? Resistance headquarters is not advisable in the least. Never been attempted as far as I know. But the skies seem clear. No one's following us. I think we can make a little history today. This is a two-part maneuver. Done right, we should head perfectly into a blind spot. Everybody ready? Nazis as they really are stupid. So long as we're hidden by this mist, no one will see us. Now, for the second part, the jump. Once we're underwater, hold your breath, swim after me. Stay submerged no matter what happens. There are Nazis all around. If you break the surface, they will kill us. Don't hesitate. Jump! Oh, 
Oh, I'm so sorry. There was no break in front of that hatch when I left. I've been in prison for the last three months. Oh, so gosh dang stupid. Great job keeping us alive out there, Dad. Yeah, I think we should get an upgrade. Uh, I'm not sure how soon, but we should get an upgrade for this thing that allows us to cut through these types of grates. So I'm just wondering what's down here. I don't know if I could fit down there. You could probably press E in it, and then you go down there, I would guess. Or if it's like a bonus thing, or, or what. Max, gently. Whoa! Stand down! This is Klaus. He's one of us. He was a Nazi before, but he's on our side now. Oh, easy, Johnny. How is this possible? We are in the very center of Berlin. You're hiding in the plain sight. It's the last place they would look out. Will they not hear us? Best to keep your voice down, then, yeah? Fuck me. B.J. Blaskovich, I should have known only you would be dumb enough to do a daytime entry. Yeah. Glad to have you back, Bart. Caroline, you're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, three pulverized vertebrae. You? Head trauma, four inches of cast iron shrapnel right in the conch. Still in there. Severed colon, septic shock, shattered pelvis. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. Good to see you, Vilnius. So, what can you do? For your collection, Jay. Wow, so happy to like see you, man. What's it been, three months since they hauled you away? I thought you were dead, actually. They send people off to that prison, they like don't come back, you know? It's a trip, and you brought some new. Oh good, I can pause during a cutscene. Um, so just one little note, that character that we see there with the guitar and the thing over their, their face, I think uh, they were called J, whatever that stands for. Um, that character actually was not in there in the playthrough that I watched. So apparently who you choose to live, Fergus or Wyatt, not only changes the ability that you get, lockpicking versus wiring is the one you get if you uh, go with Fergus. And of course, who lives, so who you get to do all this stuff with, Wyatt or Fergus. It doesn't just change that, but it also changes out at least this one character. New cats with you, actual like reinforcements. It's cool, man. I am hearing interesting things out of London. I have a folder marked Project Whisper, but someone has borrowed it. Klaus, I believe it was. Can you find it and bring it to me, would you please, Captain? Now that you are here, I think we can do great things. Why don't you sit with me, Miss Anya? Listen in on these frequencies. Anything out of London, make a note of the time and write down as much as you can. Here is pen and paper. Can I use a typewriter? You know how to type. Yes. My parents thought I should learn. Ah, for you to take dictation, prescriptions and such. Oh, not really. It was useful during my time at the University of London for my doctorate in archaeology. Then the blitz came, and I had to go back home. I was only 16. Well, doctor, please assist me in figuring out what these damn Nazis are up to. <laughs> really looking forward to talking to Jay. Of them jamming on that guitar. All right, well, I'll explore more of this place. Explore more of this place when I uh, come back. For now, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.